Go to geekforme.com, the easy way to find trusted local tech repair experts near you. Geekforme.com, fast, local and reliable. This is the Arctic Liquid Freezer Free Pro ARGB. A high-end, all-in-one with a thick 38mm radiator, upgraded pro fans and a built-in VRM fan over the socket. It comes in 240, 280, 360 and 420 mm sizes. The RGB versions are available in black or white and the non-RGB version is black only. We're going to be unboxing the 360 mm model as well as showing the 420 mm model inside an Arctic extender case so you can see how it looks in a build and then testing both coolers on an open test bench outside of a case. The Pro version adds three key changes over the non-Pro Liquid Freezer 3. You have a thicker 38mm aluminium radiator, higher performance Pro Series fans and an offset cold plate to better cover the hottest areas of a modern CPU. The CPU block uses a copper cold plate and supports Intel's LGA 1700 and 1851 sockets as well as AMD's AM4 and AM5 sockets. Once installed, on top of the pump is a small VRM fan that blows air over the power delivery around the socket. The braided reinforced tubing is 450mm on most sizes and around 500mm on the 420mm model. The tubing also has the fan and RGB cables routed inside the sleeving for a cleaner cable management. Power wise you can run everything from a single PWM header or use the supplied splitter to break it out and control the pump, radiator fans and VRM fan separately. The lighting, the radiator fans and VRM fan use standard 3 pin 5 volt ARGB connectors. So all you need to do is plug them into your motherboard or controller and sync them with the rest of your system. Because of the 38mm radiator plus the fans, this cooler is thicker than most all in ones. You'll need to check your case and RAM clearances especially with the 420mm version if you plan to top mount it. The original non-pro Liquid Freezer 3 was one of the best coolers we'd tested when it launched. Since then other brands coolers have either caught up or matched the cooling efficiency of the Liquid Freezer 3. Arctic has now taken the lead again with the new Pro version. We saw roughly a 3 degree Celsius drop in average temperature compared to the old model under the same conditions. In some tests it even beat rival all-in-ones running at 100% fan speed while the Pro was only at around 50% speed, giving plenty of headroom for hotter CPUs or quieter fan curves. One drawback is the Pro fans are louder when pushed. In our testing, they were around 6 decibels louder at 50% and around 10 decibels louder at 100% compared to the older versions. In normal use, you can keep it much quieter by setting a sensible curve and the extra performance means it doesn't need to run flat out very often. Installation is straightforward. The radiator comes with the fans pre-installed, with wiring already hidden in the sleeving. If you're running an Intel LGA 1700 or 1851 board, all you have to do is install the contact frame, then screw in the pump and attach the VRM module. Once that's done, attach the radiator to your case and plug in the PWM and ARGB leads. And if you would like to tune the cooler even more, go into your BIOS and tune your fan curve and you're done. Packaging wise, the box is mostly black with a clear product image on the front and socket support listed. The rear shows the main specs and a QR code linking to the online manual. Inside the box the cooler is pre-assembled 
with fans attached and you'll get the Intel and AMD mounting hardware. Intel's contact frame, thermal paste, as well as the PWM cable and splitter. Overall, the Arctic Liquid Freezer Free Pro ARGB offers very strong cooling performance, clean RGB, neat integrated cabling, and flexible control. You will need to watch case clearance and accept higher noise at full speed. But if you're building a high-end gaming PC or workstation and want a powerful all-in-one, this one is well worth a look. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.